Yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> Just recapping on this, our buddy Ricky brought in this MCI that had this engine that was severely overheated, lots of internal engine damage, uh, had broken gears on the timing gears. So we were just, instead of rebuilding it, we found a replacement motor, uh, super cheap. It, we knew it had a problem on the top end on it. Turned out the blower had ingested a uh, hose clamp and it just disintegrated it and broke up the all uh, the drive gears on the blower and everything was just shredded in the in the gear side of the blower. So we re, uh, replaced the blower, put a new blower on it with one that we had from the old engine uh, that was fine, the overheated engine, the blower was good on it. So we put that on there and we got it running. There was an exhaust leak, as you'll see it running here. If you look, you'll see smoke on the backside coming uh, from the exhaust manifold on the left side. We're gonna replace that manifold and then uh, get this engine ready to put, it, put in this bus. Okay, go ahead and turn it over. broken off bolt on the air intake of this air compressor. So we're gonna take it apart. And extract the bolt. And then look at the inside of this, what the hell? Very squishy. It looks squishy. Are they acorns? <laughs> oh, but that doesn't look like it's doing what it's gonna do. doesn't look much better than mm -hmm. the one we just took But yeah, I think, I think, I think they're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so if we replace the compressor that had the acorn nuts in it, <laughs> with the one that used to be on the other engine, so it looks like it's in much better shape. Gonna replace, replace the exhaust manifold gasket over here on this side. We can see smoke coming up out of there, which we knew that it was in really bad shape. So we're gonna replace that. The other side looks good. One thing this engine was really dirty and and just gross <laughs> it's black uh, so we got in there and really started scraping and and getting all the dirt and gunk off of it and got it cleaned up pretty good this into there. It's just about ready to go in. 
We've got it lifted up nice and high with the tractor here now. It's on the rails, but we have to tip it up a little extra high because of that bolt right there with that transmission mount's gonna hit. And we're just gonna slide it right in. We got the jack stands there for safety. But uh, yeah, so it's a little extra elevated at the rear right now. Just gotta be careful with my forks to not hit the bus. We're gonna keep an eye on them very closely. But yeah, it's, it's doing great. The little workmaster is doing its job. sliding this engine in here on the rail somebody's put that motor mount bolt on upside down it's supposed to go the other way so that we can clear this here but we're not able to clear it right now so we're going to take it out and swap it around if you put the bolt on the bottom with the extra thread at the top then it'll have a lot easier to clear just lift the motor just a tiny bit so we got it most of the way in i mean it's only hanging out i guess it's hanging a foot a little more than a foot out of there but it's resting on its own weight. We just got these chains here on the back holding it. We're just gonna slide it the rest of the way once we remove that bolt that's causing it to catch. Pushing the bus. Need to back up and go up a little. going in so we're just gonna leave it here in place for now and the next time we have a bus that's here in the shop where we're waiting on parts or something like that they'll give us a day to come over here it's gonna take a full day to get everything hooked up on here all the cooling system the drive shaft all the wiring gauges that kind of stuff um, it, it's probably a full day's work so we got the bump bumper to put back on there's some under supports on there for the it goes under the transmission Hard, the hard part's done.